Hi again. So we continue with our modeling. Uh, at this time, I will create the room. Mm. We move the 3D cursor at the world origin, and this object we selected. Our plan, our plane. We shift, press shift S. Oh. I'm gonna turn on this guy right here so press shift Z uh, shift S I'm sorry and selection to cursor I'm gonna select this shift Z selection to cursor it will sit on the ground perfectly so 7 to look at look from the top view and G this is cool, I think. So now when we selected the plane, press tab, and we can do something like that. Press Ctrl R, add an edge loop, come here, and again Ctrl R from this side, come here, and again edge loop. So we press here, delete, and the rest we select, and like that. This is also a way to extruding things in or out. What we can do, I want to, this wall will be a little bit uh, down, according to this. So I will come here and uh, extrude magnified. This is a new uh, extrude in Blender. Now here I, I will make this wall a little bit uh, bigger, and as well as here. So. So this is our wall, and for the plan, for uh, for the floor, I can add a plane and extrude it like so, and R Z four to five degrees like so. Now by the slash, come here, add mirror. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, array modifier with any small gap between those like like that and we can add a top of uh, underneath we can add solidify solidify makes things like that solid or or b even we can manipulate those things small gap small or even smaller for example three but that's cool to see uh, through those. Or even five is better. So we turn back everything. Account. I can come here. For example, from here, and I add again uh, array modifier or simply i can duplicate this from here duplicate and come to the setting instead i can use y for example one type one and zero zero for that one uh, or what you can do is come and write your uh, yeah, that's much better too but what I can do is write something negative negative 5 for example but it doesn't work no it doesn't work so you have to write only from here 
<clears throat> you need much more area from here and also here so that yeah, looked great or even even we can just work like that uh, we can undo the item from 35 to 0 and instead we can turn those back 0 by 2 and account should be less and the whole floor also should be less small and here we have that kind of thing so now what I can do is I can take a copy from here for example five you see the gap between those so I duplicated uh, this is the solidify this is one object and I uh, put the number of count under the six and then I copy this array or I can add from here and manipulate the, its setting and again in the um, y y axis as I did for the x axis but here I I have to manipulate in y axis and then what I can do is that I copy I copy this guy and put it maybe a little bit more not not that even here a little bit more a little bit more space we need like so and we have to play with that zero five 0, 5 and 0, 3 is much better 0, 2 is much better and I copy and paste it uh, here as well let me see for the first not this and that so now i have the same gap right here press g and to make a good and now i can make something like that Okay, <clears throat> and what I can do is that uh, this it's the origin is here, and if I press R and Z, it will rotate according to their origin. But I don't, uh, and it will get distorted. But what can I do? I can rotate those these two panel according the 3d cursor so I select those uh, click here set origin to cursor so now if I rotate we don't have any issue so I click click here Z 35 degrees uh, negative 35 degrees and play press so here um, I have only um, I have to hire this number for example like so and this is 
Seven and half. So this is this give me a much uh, better result. And absolute here as well. And that one as well. So so I have something like that. <clears throat> Okay, but I want, now I want to apply those add and the next apply, apply modifier, all modifier applies. Now I can cut those area. So I add a plane and first I will merge those. Select both by um, holding shift, holding down shift and select both and control G to merge those. Now I will add a cube, resize it until the fits area of the wall You see here, and even here. Okay, now we scale it down a little bit. Scale it down. Now, I can select this and come here because I don't want this uh, I don't I don't need this part. Only this part which is here I need. So for that I'm going to use a modifier called um let me see here boolean <clears throat> here is the object select for objects like this guy it will cal calculate and if we go here to see go here to the object properties and come scroll down and come under the visibility click here show in uh, viewport we, we don't want to see it in viewport and um, you have that i think you have that right here turn off yeah here we turn back you see it okay so we go to the again here onion difference we click here and and interest intersect we click on intersect and if I isolate or hide this hide this guy this cube you see that we have cut it out this area so by applying the boolean modifier uh, boolean modifier and intersect intersect with will uh, make it inverse so I will add and apply this modify modifier and simply delete this guy or even I can have it I can have it let's select all those G come here 
global go up a little bit and come here and down now that the cube and so okay